I'm in the process of rewiring a house built in 1952. I've discovered that some three-way switches share a neutral on breakers 11 and 12. If you are interested in seeing the cable pulls, electrical box removal and install, or troubleshooting, click on the channel name, then playlists, and look for the title Rewire an Old House series. I have everything that's connected to breaker number 11 drawn out and have replaced the cabling with ground to this section. For this video, I'll focus on the section that contains the three-way switches and the shared neutral. First, let's review the basics. A single pole switch turns a light on and off from one location. In 1952, when this house was built, they did not run ground wires. It's just a cable that contains a white wire, which is the neutral, and a black wire, which is the hot. A cable feeds into the switch box. The white wire is spliced, and it leaves the box on another cable and is connected to one of the terminals on the porch light. The incoming cable's black wire is connected to one of the terminals on the single pole switch and the cable that leaves the box and goes to the porch light has its black wire connected to this connection and also to the light. The hot is always switched so when the switch is closed, it sends the hot wire to the light and then completes the circuit and it returns back to the power source. For this circuit to work, you always need both a hot and a neutral. Here's an example of what you would see in the field. In this diagram, Breaker number 11's cables are highlighted in yellow. The first floor switch box is fed by a cable that comes from an outlet. In that box is a single pole switch, which I just showed to you. There's also two three-way switches. Two three-way switches allow a light to be turned on or off from two different locations. To keep this easy to understand, I'll talk about one pair of three-way switches. One of the switches is located on the first floor and it controls a hallway light on the second floor. The companion to that switch is one that's located at the top of the hallway on the second floor and of course that also controls the hallway light. The same as a single pole switch, a pair of three-way switches need a neutral wire to complete the circuit and illuminate the light. A pair of three-way switches also switch the hot wire. They need two wires between the switches called travelers so that the downstairs switch and the upstairs switch can turn the light on or off no matter the position of the switches. In my situation only one cable was run with two wires, a wire for each of the travelers between the downstairs switch and the upstairs switch. An extra cable wasn't run to connect the neutral from the breaker 11 circuit to the second floor hallway light. The circuit connected to breaker 12 that surfaces the second floor was just a few feet away from the switch box containing the upstairs switch and what was done is the neutral wire connected to uh, breaker 12 was connected to the second floor hallway light. At the top center of the photo you'll see where the two cables that are connected to breaker number 12 enter the switch box. In the center of the photo, four white neutral wires are spliced together. Two are the in and out 
for breaker 12 circuit. One goes to the hallway light and the other goes to a switched outlet controlled by the other pair of three-way switches. Bottom center is two black wires placed together. That's just the in and out for the circuit connected to breaker number 12. If one of these three-way switches were positioned in the on position, the hot would come from breaker 11 through the switches, illuminate the second floor hallway light, and then return to the power source through the neutral on breaker number 12. The danger with this circuit is that if you were to turn breaker 12 off to do work and check for voltage and it's safe, and while you're doing work, somebody turns one of the switches on, which would send the hot from breaker 11, which isn't turned off, through the switches, illuminate the second floor hallway light, and then it would return on this neutral. And now the circuit that you're working on has become energized. I don't know the code history when this type of circuit was permitted. If you have older wiring and three-way switches, be aware that you could have this potentially dangerous situation. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.